this is Deborah, and you're watching Cottage to Courtyard, where I'll show you how to create a beautiful home that you'll love and always budget friendly. Hello and welcome, dear friends. Thank you so much for joining me. I've missed you all more than you know, and it just feels great to be able to bring you this new video today. I want to express our gratitude for all your love and prayers that you sent to my husband and I. They mean so much to us. We're both doing okay. We just take one day at a time and adjust accordingly and enjoy the little things and the good days as they come. And if you yourself or someone you know has had cancer or a stroke in their lives, you guys know exactly what I mean when I'm talking about enjoying the good days. So with that said, my plan is to create videos as my time and energy permits. So that could be once a week or every 10 days or possibly uh, once every two weeks. I'm just not sure yet. Either way, I will continue to bring you all fun decorating content that you can enjoy. And I hope you'll come back to see what's new. And one more thing before we get into the video. During my time off, I decided to create a new line of home decor, which consists of just three items so far and it will be called my new comfort collection by cottage to courtyard designed and made by yours truly i've named it that because of all the things that our homes should be they should be a place of comfort contentment as well as our sanctuaries and as i get the logistics worked out i will um, show you all the items and info on how to purchase if you're interested. Now let's get into the video. Here is my debut project that I've been working on and I'm absolutely thrilled to share it with you all. This very neutral, pretty Queen Anne wingback chair is the perfect candidate for this customized makeover and it lent itself very well to the design that I had in my head. And yes, she will be for sale in my local area sometime soon. So do you all want to see what I did to her with some choice fabrics, materials, and my creative mind? Well, here she is introducing Southern Grace from my new comfort collection by Cottage to Courtyard and Designs by Deborah. When I was creating the design for this chair, I knew exactly what look I wanted to achieve and for it to have a casual elegance about it. A chair that looks as though it belongs in a bed and breakfast in the Texas Hill Country or be fitting for a cozy and inviting guest room in one's home. She's beautiful for a fireside corner or freestanding so she can be seen from all sides. Either way, I'm very happy with Southern Grace. And you know guys, she really is all the things. She's a little French country, a little shabby chic, a little cottage style, and with a definite farmhouse flair. And you all know I had to add a rooster or two to the design. Can you spot how many roosters I did put on the chair? Keep watching and see if you can find them. While we're looking at the chair, I wanted to just touch on the large fabric applique with the rooster on it there on the back of the chair. I wanted to sort of pay homage to the Victorian and Edwardian eras where the ladies of the house would cover the top back of the chairs with what they called antimacassars. It could have been a doily or a scarf of some sort and its express purpose was to protect the chairs from the macassar oil that the gentlemen used in their hair, hence the name antimacassar. So anyway, this fabric patch was my nod to a gentler time in our past history. Okay friends, now for the fun part. Let's take a look at the chair from all sides so you can see all the pretty details that I've added to her. And just so you know, the back is just as pretty as the front because we all know that a lady should be as beautiful in the back as she is in the front as she exits a room. Here's the left side. I added strategically placed fabrics with a faux handle, if you will, just for fun and a bit of the unexpected. Oh, and how do you guys like her handkerchief hem skirt? I bet you can't guess what it's made from. 
and now for the right side which is a little different I made a pretty side pocket to tuck in treasured photos or mementos and that's a photo of my beautiful mama in heaven this side also has a faux handle but on an angle for fun and interest and just look at her pretty sash bow on the back with the beautiful Paris patch and lace And last but not least, these are her sweet little Lady Liberty arm caps, as you would see them in a seated position. Now let's go in for a closer look so you can see the details a little better. You know guys, as I was designing and working on my chair, which is featured there on the left, I did a little research and I just wanted to see what was out there in the way of deconstructed or made over chairs. So I looked on Etsy and I saw one that's featured there on the right here in the photo. And I was amazed at what they're going for on a retail market. But in all fairness, I believe the Etsy chair did include some or all of the shipping cost which we all know can be quite costly. But my plans are to market my things on my own or perhaps in a rented booth in an antique mall or something like that, but more about that later. All right, my sweet lovelies, that's gonna do it for today's video. And I sure hope you enjoyed it and maybe drew some inspiration on how to create something beautiful for your home. Thank you all so much for your love, your support, your wonderful prayers, and all your kindness. It means the world to me, and I just want to hug you all. I hope to be back next week with more fun decorating here in Cottage to Courtyard. So until we meet again, you all take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye, friends.